All right, welcome back. We're continuing to monitor the breaking news out of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, several people shot at a subway station there. The New York City Police Commissioner Ken Chan Sewell there uh, addressing the press corps. But uh, what we know at this point, uh, she said it's not being investigated as an act of terror, an act of a terror threat, but they are not ruling anything out. Uh, we do have 16 people injured, Bianca, including 10 who have been shot, uh, five in critical condition. And the manhunt is on for the suspect there. We'll continue to watch all the breaking developments happening in New York. All right, let's welcome in now Congresswoman Claudia Tinney. She represents New York's 22nd district, a little bit of ways away from Brooklyn. Uh, but great to have you with us nonetheless, Congresswoman Tinney. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Terrible uh, situation. It is a terrible situation. And I think, you know, for anyone who's been in New York City over the last couple of months, they can speak about uh, the fear uh, of being on a subway platform or something like this you know you don't expect something like this to happen but uh we saw this video yesterday as well congresswoman of people just running through times square because sub a manhole cover was on fire and there was an explosion new york has changed quite a bit yeah i i've been going to new york city basically my entire life uh my parents worked in brooklyn actually when they first met and uh my dad was originally from new jersey and we moved to upstate new york uh you know i was actually the first one of my family born up here uh, but uh, just to watch the decline in New York, eight terrible years of de Blasio, uh, the terrible get mismanagement of the city on every level, especially the crime issue. And then New York state government actually getting on board and creating this cashless bail system, the prioritization of uh, criminals over victims, you know, the, the misguided. It's all about the legal gun owners as opposed to mm. dealing with the fact that the police have no tools in their chest. And, you know, the, the, Kathy Hochul, I just watched her blame this all on no more gun violence. Right. She just presided over a $220 billion budget, the largest in New York history, where she did not address the situation with the cashless bail, with the dangerousness of people on the streets, by making sure there are mandatory minimums for illegal possession of, of guns and drugs and a lot of those things that are happening in New York. People are, you know, the crime rate is not just New York City, it's across the state. But you're seeing what's happening when you have irresponsible people yep. in charge, when they undermine and demoralize the police. They've done nothing to really do what, you know, to resolve the damage done by de Blasio when he defunded over a billion dollars out of the New York City Police Department. You know, the, it, it, it's having the effect that you know is going to happen when you demoralize and defund the police and prioritize criminals. This is what happens. People aren't safe. Yeah, for Kathy Hochul to get in there and uh, say it's time to rally around and New Yorkers need to stand up against crime. I mean, considering how she's been on board with these uh, policy changes that have really led to the, the downward spiral of New York is pretty uh, probably galling to a lot of people, including your constituents. But let's focus on the other big story today, of course, and that's this record breaking inflation. Uh, you know, ABC News talking about the Biden economy, 69 percent of the public now unhappy with the way the president is handling this issue. You know, what we're talking Talking about it, the White House is warning about it. They're trying to blame it on Vladimir Putin, but what we don't hear is what they're going to do to fix the problem, Congresswoman. Yeah, they. It was transitory. Remember that. Yeah. And uh, then it was Putin's fault. Uh, now, where it's it's a uh, you know somehow related to Trump, but they're not talking about the trillions and trillions of dollars being flooded into the marketplace and the inability uh, of us to actually find a way in the supply chain to lower prices. Uh, the focus on uh, cutting and gutting our energy industry, forcing everyone into a Green New Deal like uh, electronic car. You know, their answer to the energy crisis is go buy a $60,000 electric car. So what you're seeing is inflation just taking hold. And the energy sector doesn't really show there. That is where the real increases are. And when yep. the energy prices go up, that affects the entire supply chain. So you're seeing this real uh, disaster, and, and the numbers are incredible. It's really just about 70% uh, people, of people, and I assume that's a, a poll across all types, all, all demographics, are, are, are dissatisfied with President Biden's handling of this inflation. But the solution the Democrats have is more spending, yeah. more incentives to keep people at home, uh, more incentives to just drive the price up. And by the way, this inflation is outpacing uh, the slight increase in, in wages. So you're seeing a tremendous cost to consumers. This is hurting the least able to afford this right now. I did a town hall recently. It was a teletown hall. I had thousands of people on. The number one issue 
coming from and all these senior citizens just happen to be on the call. And I say senior citizens, I'm almost one of those too. Uh, Me too. <laughs> a lot of people on fixed incomes relying on their social security, yeah. living in their homes that they saved and paid you know, for their entire lives. They now have high taxes. They have this huge rate of inflation, high energy costs, and many of them have nowhere to turn. They can't go back yep. to work. And yet we have people that are perfectly able to work who aren't working because we continue to flood the economy with money. Speaking and incentivize of you know, the other to thing, too, that's the, 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 the labor market potentially is being flooded with people, too. This is the other thing we want to talk to you about, this immigration stuff. Your uh, New York uh, neighbor there, Rob Astorino, getting video at the Westchester Airport of more of these flights coming in in the middle of the night and the buses going to God knows where. You know, when you're talking about these folks who who are on fixed income and they see this happening at the same time, the blood pressure goes up. The outrage is there. And we're not far away from pitchforks and torches. People want their borders protected. Yeah, absolutely. Well, actually, the millions of people coming across the border illegally is also creating huge burden and, and huge stress, not just on the system, but on the taxpayers, because ultimately we are paying for these people. We pay for their health care. We pay for their admission into the communities, even though they're illegal. And their phones. a lot of these children coming in have all kinds of diseases. They have lice. They have we need to provide them with health care, with clothing, with food. And then we're transporting them and paying for them. You know, on the El Paso Express, as I think Rob Astorino referred yeah. to it as all the way up to places like New York and the New York taxpayers who are already among the highest taxed uh, people in the entire nation are now having to take care of these people. And, and it's not that we don't have sympathy for people, but they're being human trafficked. So right. the Biden administration is party to human trafficking, drug trafficking, all at our southern border. That's why I've repeatedly called for Joe Biden's impeachment over his dereliction of duty, his failure to uphold the laws of the United States, which he's required to do by hear a lot more of that our, impeachment of talk, our state Congresswoman, U.S. We, Constitution. We hear a lot more about that impeachment talk, and I'd love to have you back to hear more about that coming up. But we've got to get back to this breaking news and some other stories, including Ukraine. We appreciate your time. Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, always Thank great you so to much. see you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.